A lot of people wonder if you can achieve monetization on YouTube by creating videos using text to speech. The short answer is yes, but only if your videos provide value and are original. Let me show you a way to quickly and efficiently create YouTube shorts that meet YouTube's monetization requirements using text to speech and the video editor available on Murph AI, which is our proud sponsor of today's video. The video I'm going to create will be a YouTube short about a true crime story because those kinds of videos are extremely popular lately. However, you can use this method to create any type of YouTube short. Let's start. Navigate to my Murph dashboard using the link in the description. On my Murph dashboard, I can see all the projects I've created. Here, I can create a new project, save them to folders, or invite team members to assist me with these projects. In this case, let's start with a new project. I select the name of the project, the folder I want it to be in, and I have a choice between audio and video. In this instance, I'll use video and start from scratch. You can choose whatever suits you best from here. So let's proceed and create a new project. To get started, let's load it into the Murph editor. Here, you can choose from over 120 voices in more than 20 different languages such as English, German, Russian, Chinese, and so forth. Let's listen to how these voices actually sound. Go fast. Go far. Go forward. Introducing Perfect Meal, a special formula for your feline, made with real chicken. For a complete adult diet... It only takes one voice, at the right pitch, to start an avalanche. We all have some... Lately, times have been tough. To help you find the perfect voice for your needs, there are various search filters. Here, you can choose male or female, age, or even select from the many use cases such as advertisements audiobooks, documentaries, or even YouTube. I find Hugh's voice to be the best suited for the clip, so I'll choose him. The first thing you need is a script for your video. For this, you can write it yourself or use ChatGPT to assist you. I already have the script ready, so I can paste it into this box. After pasting the script, select a paste preference. Split script by paragraphs, split by sentences, or don't split. In this case, Splitting by paragraphs would be best. Now, just click Generate Audio and listen. Her husband went looking for her and found her dead next to a lake. After a few months, the woman's forensic analysis report came back. If you want, you can change the pitch, speed, or add a pause. And by selecting a word, you'll be able to alter the pronunciation of that specific word. When the voiceover for the video is ready, it's time to work on the visual aspect of the video. To do this, Click on Add Media. Here, you can upload your own files or choose from an extensive stock library of music, images, or video powered by Pexels. Filters will also assist you in your selection. For music, the filters will help you specify mood, energy, instrument, and so on. And for pictures and videos, screen orientation, portrait, or landscape. For instance, when my video mentions apples, I can easily type apples here. Select Portrait Orientation, and add that to the video. When the video is ready, it's time to export it. To do this, click Export in the upper right corner. You can choose between video, voice only, voice and music, or script. In this case, I'll choose video. Format it to MP4 and include subtitles in the video. And here are the results. This is why you shouldn't go for walks in Sweden. In 2008, a Swedish woman went out for an evening stroll with her dog but never came back. Her husband went looking for her and found her dead next to a lake. After a few months, the woman's forensic analysis report came back, and it was clear the husband was innocent because there was hair and saliva on the woman's body that was not his. It turns out there is a very strange phenomenon that occurs in Sweden in the fall when all the apples have fallen from their trees. Those apples ferment and then hordes of moose eat those apples, becoming drunk and oftentimes very belligerent, like this drunk moose who got stuck in a tree. The hair and saliva of the killer belong to a drunk Swedish moose. As always, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that like button and maybe subscribe.